Hi, this is Trevor Conkergan. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about how to auto trace a backdrop. And this will be very similar if you're using the auto digitizing wizard. Uh, but one of the questions is, you know, about will you get one outline or two outlines when you have an image kind of like this? So if you're ready to get started on this topic, let's go ahead and bring up my workspace nice and large. And notice that I already have um, a snowman backdrop open, which keyword there is backdrop, which means I used my open tool and opened a JPG image. And if you look really closely at it, you'll see that it's actually made up of little dots of black and white and gray. And so um, there are no shapes. And this is where, you know, we need to auto digitize or auto trace. And there are two tools for auto trace and the auto digitizing is the wizard hat. So this is really the automation of creating shapes from this image. And if you use the magic wand, it will trace the outline of the shape. So notice if I click anywhere on the black, it will travel all around that black. Let's just hide the image and you can see that it's traced a line along the outside of that snowman. And um, it traces both sides of that. And that would be, you know, really exactly what you would need if you wanted to create a satin stitch embroidery of this snowman. Because notice now that there is a shape of artwork here. And that shape of artwork, um, if I wanted to, you know, just for example, I'm going to bring it over to the side and click on automatic satin. And when I click on auto satin, it's going to think for a minute. It's going to have to do a lot of work to create all of the pieces of embroidery that are you know needed to accomplish the task of filling in all of this with a satin stitch so auto trace simply traces the outside and but a lot of times i hear and i'm just talking while this works so we kind of wait um oh and it's done now so i'll, I'll hold the thought and just zoom in so that you can see that now my design is actually created as a satin stitch embroidery design. So auto trace is perfect for tracing the inside and the outside of a line. And a lot of times people will ask, so that here's the question. I just want to do a run stitch. And well, of course you can convert this into a run stitch. You know, that is possible. Let's make a copy of it and click on run stitch so that you can see that when you make it a run stitch, it will create a run stitch for both the inside and the outside of that line. And so the question I think becomes, can you create, you know, is there a way to get just the one outline? Now, <clears throat> there is a tool that's called the red work tool. So it's right beside the magic wand is the red work tool and the red work tool will trace down the middle. So if, if what you're looking for is, you know, what I described as a run stitch center line, then you click, you use the other magic wand. And that is the run stitch tool. Now you'll notice that when it's done, there may be some um, parts that you're oh, here. I'm going to hide the image, um, you know, that were like where it had to interpret. I guess what what it was doing but for the most part um it's done exactly what was wanted which was to create that run stitch outline of the snowman and so that may be the perfect fix for you um so you know really all of this automation kind of comes hand in hand with really good clean artwork and Let's face it, sometimes our artwork isn't as good as we would like it to be, and the automation may not be perfect. And so um, then in that case, the next solution, and, and this is also just as easy, is to click on the pencil. And when you click on the, the pencil, it means you're going to click to draw the artwork, and there are different tools to learn about. And you can learn about those in a different video about the drawing modes. But for today, we'll just start with the simple one of basically if I left click, it will draw my line and I could come down here. And so if you think uh, you can see the lines better than the auto trace is giving, then I don't think it's going to be very difficult to 
come in and trace them. Now, you can curve your line by holding your control key down, or you can make kind of just smaller clicks to draw the lines like this. And um, of course, you right click to stop drawing your line and you would have drawn uh, some artwork, which of course you can convert into a run stitch. And so if you want to take control of the line, then you use the pencil to draw your own lines. But if you have good, clean sort of clip art, you can either use the magic wand to get an outline trace of the um, sort of center. You know, this is really a black shape that has two sides. But if you use the red work tool, then you can click to trace down the center. And so that's everything for this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next week, bye for now.